All right, so a little tour here. We're working with an Avalanche 2500. This is an 8.1 liter V8 engine. If you take a look in here, you can see some of the stuff I've already replaced. This is the hot side heater hose. I have to replace the cold side, which goes down into there. So take a look in this engine bay. I'll show you what we've already done. The radiator, which you can't see, unfortunately. It's behind here. It's a brand new radiator and then I have to put this big guy in. This is uh, the other heater hose. This goes to the reservoir tank and then this goes um, to our radiator. This goes to the water pump. So let's see if we can see the water pump down there. There's my water pump inlet and then my expansion tank right there. This is it. One more thing I wanna show you is the clip that holds the radiator hose on. This holds my radiator hose onto the radiator. So so I need to pop this onto here and then uh, I'll go ahead and put that little octopus looking thing into the car and we'll fill it up with Dexcool. I'm using Dexcool because this is a GM car or truck. People give Dexcool a lot of crap and it actually works pretty well if you maintain your car properly. I, I replaced the radiator. I got in there and uh, when I was sealing up this lower hose right here there's a seal in here and the seal doesn't seal anymore so I put that hose on there filled up the radiator fluid and the car started leaking here's the seal the seal that came out is like this it's if you notice it's kind of flat and so it doesn't seal it doesn't hold coolant in there anymore I took out the heater hose connectors and they look pretty brittle Looks like these are gonna break soon. So those are going. This truck has about 140,000 miles on it, so it was time to do this stuff. And I already did the water pump a, quite a while ago, so that's still okay. All right, that's it, we're done. A tour of what we did, we put the new radiator in. You can't see it because there's a fan shroud covering it. Uh, the other thing that I found that was bad was those connectors back there, those heater hose connectors. I made the video about those, about swapping out those heater hose connectors. Now you notice the hose from Chevy, the one that came from the factory, uh, the clamp doesn't come off unless I cut it off. And I'm not gonna cut it off. So I just used a hose clamp for that. So now it's time to clean everything up. Uh, the cooling system is bled. Everything is working properly, and, and best of all, we don't have a radiator leak. So that was, that was a long time, a few weeks without the truck. I ordered a radiator from AutoZone, it came bent, and then I had to order one from GM, but they didn't have the part available right away. So I think it's almost been four weeks since this truck has been uh, running. So, very good to have this truck on the road again. Now I gotta clean all this stuff up. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your car.